So we've systemized a lot of knowledge about cross-chain communication, about oracles, about sidechain protocols. And as a consequence, we kind of know what you can and cannot do when you're moving value information in people between systems. And then begins the standards wars, where we and other systems come in and we talk a lot about how do we do that in a sensible way. And maybe we win, maybe we don't win. But if we don't win, what we do is we adopt that standard, whatever the market standard happens to be. And then begins the service-oriented era of blockchains. So you mentioned VeChain, for example. They're killing it in supply chains in certain respects. Great. But there are certain things that system just doesn't do. So maybe the VeChain guys, when you write a VeChain application, could then use Cardano for certain parts of that application and another blockchain for other parts of that application or something like that. Like for example, let's say Avalanche hits market and it's very strong, it's great for IoT. So maybe you're talking about a supply chain that is bathed in lots of sensors. So you run the IoT part with Avalanche, you run the supply chain part with VeChain, and then you have value moving between the systems. So you issue the token on Cardano. There you go. You see, so now you have three different systems and the systems are all working together. And if you have a DEX, you can actually pay all the fees with the underlying unit of account of each system. And then they're just, you know, there's a resource question. And you might even have a, 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 low, a shortest path algorithm and use multiple blockchains. And whichever one is the cheapest of the day, that's the service you think. So it's almost like load balancing on servers amongst different types of cloud infrastructure. That's the market we'll move to. And these interoperability protocols will allow us to do that with safety and low latency and reliability. It'll take about three to five years, I think, for the industry to get to that point. So what Cardano's contributing is we're working with the standards bodies. We're working in the academy and we're taking a very rigorous approach and we're trying to get an understanding of theoretical capabilities of what can you do and what you can't do. Like if you can't do it, when I say that, I say we have an impossibility theorem. We've actually proven it's not possible. There's a an attack that it can exist or something like that. And if you can do it, what are the trade-offs?